If your skin is acne prone and has acne scars, there are a variety of treatments to help reduce this damage. A dermatologist can help you choose the right treatment for your current condition. The doctor will examine and advise the appropriate treatment method. Your doctor's advice depends on the type of skin lesion and its severity. The three types of acne scars that cause significant damage include Ice pick, sharp bottom scar, deep and small scar, box scar, square pit scars, angled scars, which can be shallow or deep rolling rolling, wide and shallow indentations can occur due to damage to the underlying skin. How to treat acne? You need to combine many treatments to smooth facial skin. Most of these methods are performed at the clinic and treated as an outpatient. Methods of skin resurfacing. The purpose of this method is to remove the damaged layer of skin to reveal a new layer of skin. Your doctor will list three main treatments. Laser intervention with a laser. The laser creates a more even skin surface. Dermabrasion, skin grinding technology. This technology uses a roller with a rough surface that rotates continuously to remove damaged skin. Chemical peel, biological skin replacement. This method uses a special acid to remove the outer layer of the skin. Deep concave scars can be treated with this treatment. New skin will begin to form within 7 to 10 days after the resurfacing treatment. The treatment site may be red for a few weeks to a few months. Fillers. In this method, the doctor will inject into the damaged area a filler containing collagen or fat to help lift the skin below the scar, making them smoother. Rolling method. The doctor will use an instrument with many small heads to roll over the skin. This causes irritation of the subcutaneous tissue at the site of the lesion to develop. However, you must abstain because this method requires many times. Surgery. In some cases, surgery is needed to remove severe acne scars and tumors. Your doctor will remove or soften the scar. The area is then sutured with sutures or a skin graft. This skin is taken from another part of the body. Asterisk tips to prevent acne and acne scars. 1. Keep your face clean whether you have acne or not. Washing your face twice a day to remove impurities, dead skin cells and surface oil is essential. Washing your face more than twice a day can be harmful to your skin. Do not use hot water to wash your face, only warm water and a mild cleanser should be used. You also shouldn't use activated soaps, those with deodorants, as they can damage the skin and cause itching. In addition, you should also avoid using too much force when wiping your face with a towel, exfoliating glove or body scrub, and instead wash your face gently with a thin cloth or hands. Remember to always wash your face and dry it with a clean towel. Do not use towels that have been washed in the washing machine due to the possibility of bacterial contamination when washing with clothes. When using face wipes, use them only once. 2. Moisturizing There are many acne products that contain drying ingredients, so you should use a moisturizer to limit dry and flaky skin. Prioritize choosing cosmetics with the information, non-comedogenic does not clog pores. Moisturizing cosmetics are formulated specifically for skin types such as oily, dry or combination skin. 3. Try using acne cosmetics non-prescription acne products. Most acne medications contain ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, or lactic acid that help control bacteria and cause dryness. These cosmetics can cause dryness and peeling of the skin, when using you should only use a small amount, then adjust the dosage. Another option for you is the new retinoid OTC gel, different 0.1% gel. The way this product works does not allow the skin to form acne. However, you should be careful if your skin is sensitive. 4. Limit makeup if not necessary, avoid using foundation, powder. After a day of work, wash off makeup, if possible choose oil-free, color and chemical-free cosmetics. You should also choose cosmetics with non-comedogenic information to help prevent acne. 5. Be careful with hair care products you should avoid letting your hair come into contact with fragrances, oils, hair gels, and gels. If these products touch the face, they can clog pores and irritate the skin. Choose a mild shampoo and conditioner. Oily hair can increase the oil on your face, so wash it often, especially when resting. If you grow long hair, avoid letting your hair come into contact with your face. 6. Do not touch your face with your hands. You should avoid touching your face with your hands or resting your hands on your cheeks and chin if you don't want to spread bacteria and irritate your face. 7. Avoid exposure to the sun. Ultraviolet rays from the sun can increase inflammation and redness, and can also cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, tanning. Some acne medications can make your skin sensitive to the sun.
you should limit your time in the sun, especially between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., wear long-sleeved shirts, long pants, and wide-brimmed hats when going out. 20 minutes before going outside, apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with 6% zinc oxide or more SPF 30 or higher. You should also choose a sunscreen that says non-comedogenic on the label to limit breakouts. Carefully read the chemical composition on the product label to know which ingredient the skin is in contact with. 8. Skin care Most experts agree that certain foods, like chocolate, are not acne triggers. However, the advice to avoid greasy food, fast food, and increase the use of fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains for the diet is reasonable. Dairy and foods high in sugar will stimulate acne. 9. Avoid stress A few studies have linked stress to an increased risk of acne breakouts. Ask yourself what's causing you stress, find solutions. If it's not clear, you should see a dermatologist to find out more ways to prevent acne.